week. A wife calls or a husband calls because I work with adultery issues. My wife's having an affair. Uh, she won't come. I need help. I want to save the marriage. What should I do? So I say to them, uh, well, I only see couples, and I, I want you both to come uh, to the first appointment. I want to tell you what's going to happen. This is the first affair for your wife, right? Yeah, first affair. Okay. Well, she doesn't know beans in a bag about what's going to happen in this situation, and I really want to help you both and help her especially. So bring her one time. She said, oh, he, she won't come. Well, I tell you what, then, if she won't come, I'll be happy to call her, but you need to call her and tell her that and get permission for me to call her, and you can tell her. You can tell her this that she, one, will be very happy to have talked with me because I'm going to be able to share information with her that she will find very helpful for her life. Secondly, and this really works with guys, if your husband's having an affair, tell him that the information I share on the phone and in the first appointment with him will save him $40,000. <laughs> in Orange County, two years ago, the average divorce cost 36000 bucks. Okay. I will save you lots of money if you'll just listen to what I have to say. I won't try to keep you married. I tell people that all the time. That's not my job. I can't keep people married. If you require a third party to keep you married, you're talking to the wrong person. You need to be stay married on your own accord. That's your choice. But I will help you work through this relationship. And I can promise you, you'll be very glad you came to see me just one time. Good therapists who really work with this issue all the time need to be prepared to make that first appointment really practical and ethical and supportive and encouraged. These people are exhausted. They're drained financially. They're at their wits end. And for you just to kind of rumble around, ramble around, not really sure what you're saying and doing, you're doing them a disservice. You're not really being professional. You need to figure this out if you're going to do therapy in this field.